today's project diary, I will show you a free and easy way of how to grow strawberries from seed. Hi, and welcome to Project Diaries. Today I'm going to try an experiment with strawberries. I was out the other day with Grandad having lunch, and I had one of the most fantastic strawberries I've ever tasted, so I put it in a napkin and brought it home with me. Now there's many ways you can harvest and grow strawberries. Uh, you can cut off a section, just throw it into some soil, cover it up and see if it grows. You can put the whole thing in, do exactly the same. But today I'm going to try and harvest these seeds and see what happens. Now same as growing anything from seed, you're not guaranteed to have the same as the original. There will be a slight difference, so I'm hoping the difference isn't going to be in flavour. So I'm just going to leave this here to dry out and then I'll harvest the seeds in a bit. Here's an example of what happens to a strawberry if you leave it in a humid or damp place. So wherever you leave it, make sure it's dry. So here you go, I've left the strawberry indoors on a warm windowsill for the past week. And as you can see here, the seeds are starting to raise out from the skin and it makes it a lot easier to pick them off. You also want to try and pick the seeds that are a lot darker colour. This does take some time so I'm going to speed this up. There are many more seeds that I can harvest here but I'm just going to give you an example of what to do next. So just use the back of the spoon to try and get off as much skin as possible. This is going to help them dry out a lot quicker. Now I'm going to carry on doing these but the next step is finding something to grow them in. Now as you should know by now I like using a leftover chocolate eclair box as a propagator and I'm going to fill it with some multi-purpose compost. Now once you've harvested all of your seeds and you've let them dry out for an hour or so you just want to sow them really lightly into the tray. Now you're not guaranteed that every single seed will turn into a plant so you can use them quite liberally. Sorry for the dark footage on this section a huge storm cloud came over as I was recording this and I couldn't do a second take. So I've managed to harvest and sow around 50 seeds from one strawberry which I think is pretty good. I'm just hoping I could get at least 5 to 10 plants from this. Uh, I'm not going to push them down uh, and put them into the soil at all. I'm just going to let the water do that. So I'm just going to water them in slightly. I'm not going to use too much. Just let it trickle over the top so it doesn't damage the, the seeds or push them too deep. I'm just going to put the case on and wait until they start emerging. After two weeks you should start seeing the seedlings popping through the soil. Another four weeks after that you should start seeing some of the true leaves forming. So here's the tray just over seven weeks later. Now as you can see some of the seedlings have come through quite strong but there are some still just trying to pull through there. So what I'm going to do is take the bigger ones out and repot them and then leave the others to try and grow through later. So what you need next is a little pot. Make sure there's some drainage holes in the bottom of it and fill it with multi-purpose compost. Now I'm just going to use a spoon to dig a little hole. This is just going to be big enough for me to take the seedling out of the tray and pot it up in a bit just found a hard piece of bark in the compost so I'm just going to dig that out because you don't need that around any of the roots. Now I realise I am filming this at a bit of a funny angle but what you need to do is just get the spoon deep enough to pull the roots out without breaking any off. I'm just going to show you here, uh, there's quite a few of the roots. There you go. Let's just get all of those into the hole push them in nicely and then just pat it down so there's no air pockets try and straighten the seedling up you don't want to push it down too deep or too hard you kind of want the drainage to be good so there you have it a successful way of growing strawberries from seed now these plants do have a long way to go before they start producing any fruit um, but I will end the video here and do an update later on there's one last thing to do it's just water it in. Now keep an eye on the moisture levels. You can let them dry out for a day or so 
it's to help the roots develop a lot stronger um, but you don't want it too dry or you don't want the roots to be too sodden otherwise you'll get root rot but there you go good luck growing your own if you'd like an update on all my future videos please subscribe now here's some of my older videos on building making and growing things in your garden Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.